If you're looking to buy an M.2 SSD enclosure, there are a lot of options out there, and I've purchased a whole lot of them and done a lot of research and can tell you what's good for what options. Now, first of all, let's break it down into two different categories. First of all, there's NVMe enclosures. As you can see, this one is NVMe and this one's NVMe. And there's NGFF enclosures. This one is NGFF and this one is also NGFF. What that means is there are two different types of M.2 SSDs. Well, two main types, I should say. There are the NVMe ones, which are the ones that work on the PCIe bus, and then there are the ones that work on the SATA protocol. So just make sure you're going to buy the right SSD and the right enclosure for the SSD that you have, whichever way you're doing it. If you're just looking to make one, NVMe is much faster and not so much more expensive, so it might be a better option. If you're just looking for the cheapest option, it's probably better to just go with SATA because those are much cheaper. Let's start with the cheapest option that I was able to find on eBay. <clears throat> And it was this one. Over here you can see M.2 SSD USB 3.0 enclosure and it says NGFF. It actually is type C which is nice. But looking at the picture it looks like micro B so that might not be true. And it says B key that means it's not NVMe. NVMe's are M key and SATA SSDs are B or B plus M key. And there's just a whole lot of them. I'm going to open it up for you so I can show you what is inside. And after you take off the cover, you'll see that you can take it out and put it in four different locations. The screw on the bottom, some of them even come with a screwdriver. And as you can see, it's a B key and it's a micro B power uh, data transfer cable. And it has an LED right here. And I'll put it back in. And the LED light is right here. And it's a really good option for anyone looking to get something really cheap. I've used this for a while and it's been pretty, it's been pretty reliable. It does get hotter, but the whole thing is made of metal, so that's really nice and it acts as a heat sink, but it does shake around. Uh, well, it used to shake around actually, but now it's actually being held in quite nicely. It also comes with a nice power adapter, and this power adapter has been working quite well for me. I was able to boot from this flash drive and uh, run Ubuntu off of it, uh, the actual operating system, and it worked really well. Uh, if you're on a budget, this is definitely a great option. The next one is also from eBay. You can also buy it on Amazon, but it's just a stick. You have to uh, put it in yourself. This is actually M key, and you can actually fit, as you can see right here, NGFF and uh, NVMe SSDs in here. It fits both of them, and it does have a little, a little pin here, so that way you can actually put your SSD in. And then once you take it out, you can move it over to any one of these slots. And it works on both NVMe and SATA SSDs that are M.2. So that's really nice. And as you can see, it is USB 3.0. I got speeds of like 300 to 350 megabytes a second on this thing for both NVMe and SATA. It even comes with a little screwdriver, an extra screw. You can just pop it right in and it will just work. I made a separate review on this. If you want to watch it, you can. It will be in the description. I bought this for $9.92 and it's a great option if you're just looking for something that is dual uh, compatible and it's also kind of cool because it's uh, I guess naked is a good way to call it. And it did come with a screwdriver and extra screws. The next one was this SSK one that I bought. It is $13.99 now and has a pretty good reputation. SSK is a pretty decent company and has $3,600 115 ratings. The model that I bought had just B key and also supported B plus M key, but it did not support the M keys. And here it is, and when plugged in, it actually lights up. And the speeds are pretty decent on this, and um, it also looks very nice. I installed Medicat on it, as you can see. It also has a LED light, and it is Type C. On the box, it does mention that it's Type C, USB 3.1 Gen 1, and yeah. It gives you some information on the back. I don't think it came with anything else. Aside from this cable over here, which honestly, in my opinion, is a little bit silly, I would have preferred if it was C to C and then with an adapter the other way. However, this works too. Um, it just kind of is a little bit bulkier than I would have preferred. <clears throat> and uh, this came with this SSD uh, enclosure. And I'm going to test out the speeds real quick. And this is how it looks when plugged in. There's a blue LED that blinks when it's ready. And I am now copying a Windows 11 ISO and it's transferring at 132 megabytes a second, which is not shabby, but definitely not amazing. 
it should be able to handle, fa handle faster speeds than this. Well, it does work, and as you can see, it's blinking when it is going. All in all, a good product, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it, being as there are better products at better prices. This has been very, very uh, reliable and loyal to me. However, the aluminum is a little cheap and not as high quality as some of the other options at the, at, a, at the same price. And here we have this Orico NVMe SSD enclosure. Now, they have the NVMe version and the SATA version. The NVMe version was like $16. And the SSD SATA version, I got it on sale for $11, but it's usually $14. I got a little bit into the Orico ones because I have an Orico uh, SATA 2.5 SSD enclosure. Here it is, and I'm kind of, uh, I kind of like it a lot. So I went with the PNY with the uh, Orico NVMe enclosure, and they have good customer service. So let's open this up. So it basically comes with a built-in heatsink, and here it is. There are spots for four different sizes. This is NVMe, it's not dual protocol, and this comes right out, and you can put it back in after you finish putting your SSD in, but this piece comes right out, and then when you wanna put it away, it goes back in like this, and like that. Um, it also comes with Type-C to Type-C cable and Type-C to Type-A cable, which I'm a fan of, they're both really great. Um, it does use a uh, Torx bit, which I'm not a fan of. I mean, they could have just used a regular bit. It would have been easier, but hey, whatever. Um, it also comes with the standoffs or the mounting bits. Now, these are different. They're like rubber. You have to push them in really hard, and it is very annoying to push it in. But once you get it in, it's very nice because it's kind of like a toolless install, and um, it's better. Also, they give you one of each, uh, an extra one of each. That's nice. It also comes with a thermal pad because the top of this is a is a, uh, a heat sink, so this transfers the heat to there. There we go. Um, it also has the instruction booklet right here, and I've tested the speeds on all their Ricos, and all three of them, all three of these, this one, this one, and this one, they all had the speed of 300 to 350 megabytes a second, and that's to my computer that is running a, an M.2 SATA SSD. If my computer was running an NVMe SSD and I was using the 10 gigabits a second protocol, it may be able to get faster, but I got 300, 350, and that's why I wasn't such a fan of this one because the SSK, because it was getting 130 megabytes a second, and these were getting much faster speeds. It could be it was a cable, but I doubt it. And you can watch my review on this. I'll link it as well in the description below. Orico also makes really nice cases. Um, I got this for five bucks and put it right in there. Closes up real nice. You can keep your cables in here. And they say it's waterproof. I don't believe it's waterproof, but um, it definitely does help uh, keep water out. I mean, here is that Orico V plus M key. This is the SATA one. And here is the NVMe version. And it's actually uh, quite cheap. And here is the uh, 2.5 inch enclosure. And uh, it's actually on a big sale right now for ten fifty nine. I think I bought it for a lot more. Yeah, I bought it for fourteen ninety nine. And here is a case for the Rico, and I made an offer for five dollars, and they they accepted it. So that was really nice. And I got this on eBay. I didn't find it on Amazon. Next up is this SSD enclosure, and this one is an NGFF enclosure. I actually made an offer, and they accepted it um, for just I think it was seventeen dollars. So I did a separate review on this. This one had really good speeds, um, and it was seventeen dollars. Uh, I don't know why it's more expensive than this one, or than the SATA version of this one. Um, honestly, I would say get this one unless you're looking for the cool LEDs, which I have on this one. Um, I put a separate review on this one. You can check it out. But it had three hundred megabytes a second, megabytes a second, to three hundred and fifty, and is a really good value. No, this one cost more than this one. Um, it came with less inside. It also has a hard plastic. This one was just paper. But for some reason, this one came with less. Um, it came with less of the thermal pads. The thermal pad was just a square one. As you can see, here's the plastic for it. Um, and it only came with the one power adapter or data cable. It did not come with a C to C cable, which I was a little disappointed about. Obviously, not the end of the world. I was just happy to have two different cables, and this one only came with that one cable. And it did not come with the big blue thermal pad like this one did. And it came with a screwdriver though. A nice big one actually. Let me show you. This uh, screwdriver. However, the lighting effect is pretty cool on this one. But if you're just looking for um, 
standability. This one is very standard. The SATA version is really great. Um, I actually had one and I sold it. Next is this RGB one and I'm actually using this one as my Windows to go. Um, as you can see I put some notes on the bottom but this one's really cool. It lights up on the side. Um, it blinks when transferring data and when it's not it's just uh, changing through different colors. RGB. Um, I got this on eBay actually for uh, $24 and um, it came with just it came with both cables and a nice thermal pad and a screwdriver. However, that was missing in the box um, from the seller on eBay. It was posted for $40, but I got it for much cheaper. It was on sale on Amazon from $33.99 on Cyber Monday for $27. If you check Amazon's page, you'll see a bunch of options. There is Sabrent is first. Sabrent makes good stuff, but Arico comes out right here, and Arico is definitely a good option. This is an Asus Rogue one. Um, it does have really fast speeds, however, it is so expensive at $55.99. I'm not sure what the benefit is. People have not um, have not reviewed about having such a crazy uh, speeds, so I'm not sure how worth it it is. And a lot of the other ones, I'm not sure if they're necessarily more worth than the Orico one at such a low price. Uh, so here's another Orico one. However, I must admit this one does look cool. So a few more mentions before um, I leave you, and this is a a PCIe card that you can fit in, uh, this is only NVMe into it, and it only costs $2 on eBay, and it only works with, as you can see I wrote notes, only works with NVMe, I got two of them, really cheap. Uh, there's also this, which is pretty cool. This is a 2.5 inch SATA drive, um, that's really an adapter, and as you open it up, you can see, um, and you see it comes with these little screws, but, um, it has an adapter for, and this is only for SATA drives, SATA M.2 drives, and you can just convert them to M.2. Um, there is one more thing that I wanted to show you, and that is this. And this is Sabrin's. And I did a separate review on this as well. Okay, this is pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you could put a... SATA SSD in here, which is the same as that one. However, it also has a micro B port for USB 3.0 transfers, and the transfers are pretty good. I did a separate review on this, and honestly, it's a very cool piece. I'd recommend it. Uh, it comes with a nice cable and, of course, a screwdriver because you gotta have a screwdriver and a bunch of screws for mounting it everywhere uh, inside, and you gotta close this stuff also. So, that's it for all my M.2 shenanigans. Actually, there's one more thing over here. Um, I know I'm piling it up, but this is a dual M.2 reader. It can read both SATA and M.2 SATA and M.2 NVMe drives. And it's Type C right here. Blue, unless I got it on eBay for 30 bucks. Um, it's really fast, it's really good, and you can just stick any drive into there and read it. Kind of like a docking station. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope all these uh, all these products reviews help you make your decision about which one you want to buy. And have a great day.